um, Derek Locke, um, ex running back for the University of Kentucky. And uh, yeah, trying to showcase uh, what I need to showcase to these uh, scouts, GMs, coaches, and uh, just trying to show them I'm worth the pick, you know, at least a look, you know. So we're trying to move up on those draft boards, and uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job. And uh, I have another day tomorrow. This is my only day tomorrow. It's uh, last day in pads. So I got to show what I can show, and, and if I don't, it'll be my own fault. My guy, Tony, uh, <laughs> I've been there for four years, and every time he called, he say, hey, uh, D-Locks, this, uh, this is Tony Neely. Uh, okay, Tony. I got your number say it under Tony Neely. You don't have to say it every single time. You can just say, hey, uh, whatever. Yeah, if, if I don't answer, he's going to say, hey, Derek, this is, uh, this is Tony Neely uh, with compliance. Um, um, that's my number. Hit me back at 859-257, whatever. Tony, I have your number saved. I have it. You don't have to say your name every time. But he does it, but he's consistent with it. He does it every time. So uh, I guess that's a good thing, you know. So I guess that was a habit of his. And, he just keeps it going. It's a great guy. Let's see, y'all have to say um, my first touchdown. Um, I'd say my first touchdown. My first touchdown was actually like one of them. Um, it's like six, seven yards. So I don't know if um, that was that was great for me because I don't know when the last time we had one that was over 60s. 60s was that long? So um, that one, I had to say my touchdown in LSU in the LSU game when we won, and then my touchdown my freshman year when. Uh, uh, when we beat uh, Arkansas, when I came in fourth quarter and uh, and got the drive to yeah. put us in the lead, then I have to say my touchdown this year against uh, Louisville, my first carry, I went like 37 some yards untouched, um, cut underneath the guy, cut back across the grain, spent and, and went and scored. So that was like one of my my favorite ones. And then also when we played Tennessee, even though we lost, I did the Superman uh, into the end zone, so that was kind of pretty exciting. You know, so uh, I have a few others, but those are just ones that just kind of I remember. You know, I never forget those, and it's like, whoo, I, I made it, I, I got here. Because <laughs> you know, um, we in Kentucky we do a lot of things different. So if I'm if I'm running and I get close to the end zone and we I don't score, I might not get a chance to score. We might get into some wildcat or something else. So when I get a chance to score, I have to take advantage of that, and I got to be happy because I don't know when I'm gonna hit, when I'm gonna hit it again. But uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just excited, you know. Um, it's nothing like scoring. You feel like you're on top of the world when you score. You're like, okay, cool. They can't stop me. And uh, you know, it might have been an easy touchdown, but it's like, hey, I made it, and everybody can't make it all the time. So you gotta enjoy every touchdown that you you know you get to you get to make. So um, my experiences there is. Uh, it was great, you know, to be honest. Uh, we have a great fan base. Um, of course, we're a basketball school. You know, we, we, we would never change that. We're going to be a basketball school forever, even though it was 90 years ago when they was winning all those championships. You know, we're going to get into that. But uh, the fans actually, they into football, and they love it now. They're excited. They expect them more. And that's one of, like, that's a big deal for me, you know, to be there when it was kind of on uprising. Uh, Making it to Music City Bowl, winning seven games, not enough for Kentucky fans. And that's great. I hope in, uh, in years to come they get to get the eight, nine, and the ten win seasons that, that they want. And that's what they're looking for. They're not accepting, oh, we went to a bowl, yay. That's not enough now. So um, my experience today, it was great, you know, to be a part of that, to say I was part of changing Kentucky football, you know, that's all cool. Um, like I said, we have great fans, and uh, they take care of us. You know, they're going to be there. They're going to travel. Um, it was great, you know. I, it, it, it helped me. It helped mold me to the person I am today. When I first got there, you know, I was, I wouldn't know. I was I wasn't on the wild side, but once I got older and matured more, I feel like Kentucky made me who I am today. So, if I wouldn't have went there, I don't know if I would have been the same person. If I'm not at home uh, or with my son somewhere or, or with my family, uh, I'm, I'm not doing anything really. That's it. that's what I do. I like to, I like to sing. Me and my son, we sing all the time. We like to. Go out and eat. We like to if you, I like to shop. My son like to shop, so we always shopping. Uh, we always trying to just get out and about. If it's in Lexington, or if we need to travel somewhere and go somewhere, that's what I like to do because I don't really get to see my family until like after six o'clock. So when I do get home, or if they if I'm home and they get there, let's go. Let's go somewhere. Let's go do something because it's not enough time. Because I'm I'm going to get in bed by ten o'clock, so we only really got like four hours. So we're gonna chill, have fun, and then I'll see y'all. 
at six o'clock because I'm up early, six, seven o'clock, I'm gone, and uh, sometimes five. Uh, I don't really get to see them a lot like I, I would want to, but you know, they live with me. It's kind of crazy. Oh man, our library. Um, we have one of the biggest libraries in the world. It's huge, it's like a castle. Everybody lives there, they sleep there. They. I never did. <laughs> I never was in there unless I had to for uh, for like classes. Sometimes they make us go there, and sometimes like during you know, finals week, you might have like uh, group work and stuff like that. You have to go in there, but uh, it's it's really nice. The campus is it's, it's pretty nice. Um, if they never been to Rupp Arena, I would um, advise them to go check it out. Um, our facilities is is up to par now. Everything's looking good. They landscape great. Um, Everything is good now. It's a class now in Kentucky. Um, Commonwealth is where it's at, though. That's my sanctuary. Uh, <laughs> so uh, another another field house where we be all the time. And um, you know, like I said, the Commonwealth. I, I I would always love and remember being in Kentucky. And it's nothing like running out to seventy some thousand people in all blue and white. Um, that's going to be the highlight of my career. It's a uh, Cause, I mean, you're out there, of course you plan for yourself and your teammates, but you want to perform, put on a show for these guys who put in, paying all this money to come to this game, whether it's upper deck, lower deck, or in the suite, wherever it's at, or at home on the TV, if they're watching, you know, you want to put on for the people who, who, who want you to do good. So uh, my experience here, uh, it's overwhelming. You know, uh, you don't know, you're talking to teams, you don't know exactly what they're going to ask you. It could be a question like, uh, how did you do that? I'm going to say, I'm going to use a real example. Like, how did you do in, like, Spanish? Uh, you know, I did good. Uh, did you try, like, did you get an A? No, I got a B. Why didn't you get an A? So, uh, can you speak Spanish? Uh, not really, but, I, you know, I passed my class. So, are you, like, uh, you don't go, you don't, you have to be somebody, somebody have to be, like, watching you all the time to make you want to, uh, study hard, so why didn't you apply yourself harder? So is that going to transfer into the game? Is that going to decide you going to be in practice? You never know what you're going to get hit with. So I would say take advantage of everything. If it's studying, if it's Spanish, learn Spanish. If it's math, know your math. Don't just say, oh, I got a C in it. But what did you learn? Can you apply that? They want to know all that kind of stuff. You know all the field issues. Um, I don't really have a problem with any of that kind of stuff. Um, I just say be genuine, and if, when coaches get on you, don't get mad. Just kind of, you know, say yes, sir. Go on about your way, because everybody's watching. You never know who's going to say something negative or, or who's trying to get you to say something. They, they, they're going to try to put you in a place where you're uncomfortable, and they want to see how you react. Can you adjust? And uh, I feel like I've done a good job so far. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. been out here to be able to perform in front of every team, you know, um, even the teams that didn't have me on their draft boards or wasn't even scouting me, you know, they're here now. So there's no excuse now. If they didn't get to see, now they get to see now. So every, you don't get really get as many reps as you would like. So every rep, you gotta make it count. Ain't no, uh, ain't no redos, ain't no do-overs. That's it, what they see is what they see. So um, you gotta take advantage of that. And I would say for uh, the next Kentucky running back, I'd say you gotta have swag, you know. Um, you gotta go in there with an attitude. You gotta play with a chip on your shoulder. Um, don't get too caught up in the hype of people say, "Oh, he's cocky, man." Forget that. You out there, you gotta play. If you don't, if you don't think you're good at the job you do, and that, if that's the job you want to do, and you don't feel like you're the man at it, you're in the wrong business. You're in the wrong business. If I'm a film guy and you ask me, "Can I do my job?" Yes, I can do my job, and I can do it very well. You know, that's the kind of attitude you got to have. And if uh, you keep the attitude, but make sure you, um, you're you respectful with it and, and you kind of you humble yourself down and just make sure you're doing everything right, not sometimes, all the time. This is Derek Locke. Thanks for viewing and listening to the College Football Performance Awards.